With cases and positivity rates rising, mayors for Miami-Dade and Broward counties are addressing concerns and what we need to be doing to try to bring down our numbers. CBS 4's Joan Murray is in Fort Lauderdale with what's being done to make that happen. So here we are, nine months into the pandemic, and while things are not as bad here in South Florida as over the summer, we are continuing to see a steady uptick in the infection rate. So government officials are now pleading with everyone to prevent another shutdown. All right, what is this? Chicken shawarma bowl. Thank you. You're welcome. Sis Trunk Marketplace in Fort Lauderdale's Fat Village opened in the worst of times during the height of the pandemic, but they are surviving, enforcing the county's emergency COVID order, putting people over profits. It's definitely a challenge. There's a big price to pay, but um, overall, I think it's socially responsible to adhere to the guidance as best as possible. This 24,000 square foot converted warehouse into a trendy food hall with a dozen eateries takes reservations, has contactless ordering and hand sanitizer on every table. The big concern is if there was a shutdown, it would further hurt our employees and our business. While they follow the rules, others haven't. This picture of the wharf of a crowded space with patrons maskless caused a commotion. Broward's new mayor urged city leaders Friday to enforce all the rules. You're not being nice to your businesses when you're killing your residents. Geller says everyone should wear a mask and try to avoid a crisis, with Broward's COVID rate now reaching nearly 8%. We have lost more people yesterday than we did in 9-11. A similar message is going out in Miami-Dade, where the mayor fears hospitals will get overwhelmed. Uh, an appeal to the governor has been that if cases continue uh, high with uh, high positivity that local control be granted uh, and we're going to renew uh, that through uh, the League of Cities together with the, with my office. The Pfizer vaccine is expected to land in South Florida within 10 days. We learned Memorial Regional Healthcare System will be getting 20,000 doses, enough to inoculate 10,000 frontline healthcare workers. We are now three weeks away from Christmas and the three weeks are going to be critical to how we come out the other end of this pandemic. Public officials say it is up to all of us. Keep wearing your mask and practice social distancing to have the best possible outcome. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS4 News.